Hello, welcome to More Park City Library. This is Carol, and today we are going to focus on cleaning the kitchen sink with ordinary household items. We are going to start with some little hot water, and you're going to just wipe down your sink. I like to use a washcloth, but you can use a sponge. You do not want to use a sponge more than a week. After that, you're either going to want to wash it in a wash machine with other cleaning cloths, or you're going to want to just toss it in the trash. So we are just focusing now on getting our sink a little wet, and we are going to use just ordinary dish soap. And I just squeeze a little bit in there, and we just kind of wash it around. We like to get all the edges. And this is, again, just ordinary dish soap to lift the grease and the grime and just kind of get all the way around. You want to get all your edges. And you can get your little handle there and just quickly and easily do that. And of course, now it comes time to do a little rinsing. And usually, I like to rinse just using the washcloth because it's a little bit, you have more of a scrubbing action when you're doing that. Otherwise, you can use the sprayer which works a little differently, a little faster. There we go. And then what I like to do is add a little abrasive, which is baking soda, and I just shimmy that around a little bit. And this kind of works as a great little scrubber that won't ruin your sink because it's very mild and easy to use. And again, I like to work around the edges. And then we get down into the basin so that we have that scrubbed super nice. And yes, it gets a little bit tricky around the drain, which is where I recommend using a brush, like a used old toothbrush, which I don't have today. But again, a nice little used toothbrush will do the trick on that very nicely. And again, I just kind of rinse using a couple different methods so that your sink gets nice and clean. And it just takes a few minutes, but there's nothing like a nice clean sink after a long day. And I did get a little soapier than I anticipated today. Get this going. It's looking pretty shiny now. dishes in it and after we put all that gunk in here and then after washing I do like to dry the sink because it just makes it look so much better it's kind of like a little bit of a buffing and you can use a microfiber towel with this I'm just using an old bath towel 
because I keep a lot of old towels in the house for cleaning purposes so that everything looks a little spiffy and I'm also recycling that way. I'm not spending a lot of money on a bunch of towels, but again, a lot of things are your preference as you clean. And it looks like we are now getting a much better looking sink. It is clean and sparkly. And again, if you have a old toothbrush, that would be fantastic because that helps get into all of that little grimy spots, all the little nooks and crannies in your drain. And you can get it a little bit more sparkly. So that is our nice sparkly sink using regular dish soap and baking soda to clean it. Have a great day from Moore Park City Library.